How's it going everyone? It's Sourcing World back with an all new video and today it's another fixed video for Fortnite and also for Epic Games Launcher. If you're facing issues like um, your Epic Games Launcher has already installed Fortnite but it's verifying it and then starts downloading again. This is an issue of download loop so this happens sometime due to for a lot of issues so today we're going to be fixing them. So the very first for and foremost thing you need to do is that if your Epic Games Launcher is not opening there are a few videos for the fixes of that down below and if it does opening then make sure that you have updated it completely like here it is completely updated and now it's verifying the update so it's just merely about 30 MB and so all so there are a few things you need to do about Epic Games Launcher to make it start like so and make it do the things that it should. The very first thing I need to do is to uh, do that trick that has been told in many other forums about dollar mood marker. That folder particularly is a thing that we must do in your computer because if you want to do that, that's what's going to pretty much help you about with that sort of any problem that are helping with any sort of things that are going with Epic Games Launcher. Okay, so we're signing into Epic Games Launcher and I pretty much have installed Fortnite uh, already, so it's working pretty much fine, but we're going to be doing something is not working in yours okay so first of all thing what you need to do is to head over to app data folder now if you don't know how to head inside of that you just need to open up your computer go to c drive go to users and make sure that you're in your administrator folder whatever you are then type in up here app data so you're inside of that if you cannot go from there you can enable hidden icons and then simply head inside of app data once you've done that you need to go inside of local and from here you need to find Epic Games Launcher. So the first of all thing we're having here is Epic Game Launcher. Or maybe not Epic Games Launcher, go down below. Go to almost Unreal Engine. We, these are temporary folders so you don't have to worry about them. So come down here, Epic Unreal Engine and Unreal Engine Launcher. So first of all inside of Unreal Engine you need to create a new file. How you can create a new file is simply create a text document. This is an easy way. Enable file name extensions and remove the extension of this file from txt to nothing so that it would be complete simply a file now name it dollar make sure you get your insert the dollar sign and type in moved marker this file okay now what you need to do is to copy this file go inside of unreal engine launcher and paste this inside of unreal engine now go back go up above to epic games launcher and paste this inside here now what you need to do is to open up the directory where Epic Games Launcher has been installed. So in mine it's G Media Drive. I'll go to Epic Games inside of Launcher and I paste that particular file here too. Okay, once that done, here are the few more things that you could do. If you go back inside of Epic Games Launcher here in App Data Local, then there are a few things that you can. One of the uh, main problem causing issues are these two folders that are having some temporary files inside build of them. These are configurations files that have been built when you just have installed your launcher or what just have you installed your Fortnite game. So if you come over up above we're having another folder named Fortnite game. People say that deleting these all folder inside of saved and then similarly going inside of saved here and intermediate here. Deleting all these folders are going to work for you. So I hope that you just give it a try if that doesn't work the thing that I just mentioned that dollar move marker that doesn't work for you so check this uh, thing also out you need to delete everything inside of immediate intermediate and saved similarly do it inside of unreal engine Let me just come down below oh, come on that's too many temporary files unreal engine and inside of unreal engine launcher now here's something last we need to do okay so I actually haven't installed it I don't think I deleted it all so there's an update for to Fortnite that just came and it's working for it so just to minimize it and here's the next thing we need to do is to hope open up CCleaner the link for CCleaner has been given down below in the description if you want it you can download it from there I haven't updated it so the next thing we need to do is to clean the registry first and foremost so just scan for issues Okay, so once the issues have been found, the person you need to click on fix selected issues. You want to register, back up your registry. You can either back it up or you can create a system restore point, but I'm not going to back it up in my case. So click no and click on fix all selected issues. If you want us to fix them one by one, want to see what's going on, you can drag through and click on fix issues. So we're having all issues fixed. Now the last 
last thing would be to restart your computer and check out the Fortnite if it's working. So I hope this uh, would solve your issues up with Fortnite or any sort of problem. So it keeps just downloading and restarting, then that's the problem for you. And this fix is gonna turn it up for you. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe for more Fortnite fixes. I'm Sorcerer from Flossy Tech, signing out.